So you've got to consider an end-to-end -end measurement process. You've got to think from the design of my program, from the way my program was implemented, to the outcomes that I foresee with this program, for whom this was, because that's where I'm going to look for the evidence in those stakeholders. I've got to consider compared to what, that was the whole discussion we had this morning about attrition. How do I know it's my, because of my intervention that the change has occurred? How do I know if the intervention didn't take place, what would have happened anyway in that community? And then, of course, the ec economic case of a program. And I've tried to really illustrate it to you what we expect our implementing partners to do. Not only to design a program, not only to implement a program, but also to assess a program. And, and you've got to ask the question of, can you be both judge and jury? And I just want to broach the subject of independent external evaluation as well because what we do know is if stuff go wrong and the envisaged impact is not there will they be honest enough so you don't only have to make provision in your programs for the process of monitoring and evaluation for that resource requirement, the money it's going to cost, the time it's going to take, the skills it's going to take. But sometimes, especially in larger programs, in programs of 20 million or 10 million, that happens over time, that sometimes you're going to require independent external expertise. And you've got a budget for that on top of that program expenses.